Around 1 o'clock this morning, multiple agencies were called out to the scene of a car crash and structure fire in Parker. Tonight, News 13's Amber Spradley tells us about the history of the building involved in the blaze and spoke with residents who saw it happen. Officials confirm a young male driver, whose name has not yet been released, was turning off of East Business Highway 98 onto Pitts Avenue in Parker Monday morning. When he reportedly failed to stop or slow down, he ran over logs, sending the car airborne into a nearby building and a parked pickup truck. There was just probably six or seven explosions, and it was sending ambers all through the air onto people's roofs and stuff. Both vehicles and the building went up in flames, taking fire crews about two hours to put out. By the time we got him out on the ground, the entire car was engulfed in fire, and then it engulfed the building, and the whole thing went down. Now the driver of the vehicle is still in the hospital. Meanwhile, we caught up with the real estate agent of this building, and it just so happens to be a pretty historical property that the community of Parker has now lost. Somewhere in the mid 1800s, some uh, fishermen or boat savvy guys started boating in and out of that area and built a little depot spot where they could transport other people. Over many years, the area developed with this history of uh, being a little ferry depot during the early um, 1900s even. So we're going to be we're going to be searching to see if we can build, bring the building back. Navarro says they're going to try to validate the history of the building through the Bay County Historical Society and reestablish the boat depot as it was. Amber Spradley, News 13, Panhandle Strong.